Welcome to one of China's epicenter of innovation where electric dreams become a reality. I'm Adam, we're in Shenzhen, China and behind me is BYD's headquarters. You know, that BYD that make cars. Alright, let's go and check it out. Imagine a chemist with a bold vision to change the game. This is the story of BYD Co Limited, a company which really did set a new spark. Found in 1995 by Wang Chuan Fu, or people might just know him as Chairman Wang now, well, his aim was to build a company to become a leader in energy regeneration and storage. Well, his aim was to beat the expensive Japanese battery industry. Okay, Chairman Wang delved into patents and batteries and his aim to make more affordable, better batteries really gave BYD the advantage when it comes to battery technology as of we know it now. Okay, so by 2002, Chairman Wang and BYD have already pretty much got it covered, the battery technology. It's becoming really popular. So he started thinking about something different. He started thinking about cars, cars with batteries. And that's when he started to have this inception. And then by 2008, this was a, such a major turning point for BYD as the Warren Buffett acquires 10% stake in the company. Warren Buffett's investment in BYD propelled them to the international stage, even catching the attention of Daimler. And Daimler actually wanted to work with BYD in creating a B segment electrified car. But BYD has always been a free spirit, so they embraced an independent vehicle design and even asked Wolfgang Egger from Audi to join them and design this, a concept car for the future. The Han, a luxury sedan, was a result of 10 years of hard work. It showcased BYD's EV and PHEV powertrain and featured their proprietary blade battery setting new safety standards. Actually, even before the Han came around, BYD was already making waves. You might even been on one, you just don't know about it. So, ever been on one of those, that big red thing? Well, those BYD buses have been in London since 2015. In fact, you wouldn't have just been riding on BYD products. Actually, some BYD products might have made it into your pocket or your home. As usual, BYD are resilient, okay? So that's why during the pandemic, they even switched to manufacturing face masks, showing their manufacturing prowess. But BYD's dedication to lowering carbon emission is unwavering, which is why in 2022, they decided they will no longer produce ICE vehicles and instead look to the future and produce these kind of cars. The BYD Seagull. The BYD Seagull is a four passenger hatchback EV. It's slightly larger than a Fiat 500 and shorter than a Mini Cooper. Now this is probably one of the first EVs that doesn't have to apologize for a sticker price. At China, in China right now anyway, it starts from RM51,000 ringgit. So the BYD Seagull is built on BYD's e-platform 3.0. It sports a 75 horsepower front wheel drive motor. It's got around 135 newton meters of torque. It can do zero to 50 kilometers an hour under five seconds. So this car is offered in two battery packs, a 30 kilowatt hour battery pack or a 38 kilowatt hour battery pack. So the smaller battery pack offers around 305 kilometers in range, whilst the larger battery pack offers 405 kilometers of range. Now, BYD says, this car can charge from 30% to 80% in 30 minutes, making it a really fast charging EV. Now, remember I said how this is probably going to change the game? Well, that's because even at the most specced up, fully loaded spec, this car only goes for around 60,000 ringgit. Now, at the other end of the spectrum is this, the Denza D9. Remember when I said they had the collaboration with Daimler? This is one of the results. This is a Denza D9 MPV. It amassed 3,000 bookings in 30 minutes when it was launched. Now, in the seven-seater configuration, this MPV goes from 250,000 ringgit. Yes, depending on trim level, it can go up to nearly 300,000 ringgit. But this, the four-seater configuration, 
this will set you back 430,000 ringgit. Okay, the Denza D9 is powered by BYD's Blade battery. It has a range up to 600 kilometers and it's got a charging rate of 166 kilowatts. There's also a plug-in hybrid version which is equipped with a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. So the hybrid version has an electric range of around 190 kilometers, but it's got a full maximum range when combined with petrol of around 1,000 kilometers. Now the interior of the Denza D9 features a lot of luxurious elements. It's got a huge panoramic screen, it's got captain chairs with 10 ways adjustability, it's got massage functions, you name it, this thing has got it. Of course, it's got to have a big screen. It's all about screens now, right? But don't get your hopes up too high because right now the Denza D9 is only offered in a left-hand drive configuration and it's aimed towards Chinese market. But you never know, BYD is BYD they can build your dreams. At the extreme end of the spectrum is this, the U8. It's got around 1,600 Newton meters of torque. It's a beast. Well, it hasn't been released yet, but when it does, it's gonna have a price of around 160,000 US dollars. So I mean like in Malaysia, we all know BYD as just one BYD Ato 3. That's all we know of them now. But in China, BYD is vast. They have many different subdivisions, if I were to call it anything, like of cars and showrooms. So this right now, we are in the Dynasty showroom. There's also the Ocean, which the Dolphin is in. The Dynasty, we have the Ato 3. Well, it's not called the Ato 3 here, but the Ato 3 belongs in this Dynasty tier kind of sub-brand. Well, the one, the showrooms in Malaysia, they're not really following the showrooms here. Although, yes, they are inspired. BYD Malaysia did say that they've made sure that the showrooms in Malaysia follow our local taste. Although the showrooms in Malaysia do not follow these concepts here, there's some really nice touches here and I wish they brought them to Malaysia. I mean, check this out. In the beginning, you have a shoe buffer. Shine your shoes. And then, you come to what they call the racing experience area where you can sharpen your skills and be like Abang Gan and drive some motorsport games, yeah. But the best bit is this, seriously, the best bit is this. Come here with me. Okay, obviously you have some comfortable chairs, you can snooze off and everything, but right at the back is the best weapon to kill off time. Cinema. Okay, right now we are in the ocean showroom. So this concept is like clean, kind of like premium, kind of similar to what we can expect from BYD Malaysia. In Malaysia, of course. Also, in this ocean, obviously we've got the dolphin, we've got the seal, and we've got cars that probably make their way to Malaysia, I think, eventually. But yeah, I really like this one over that dynasty. That one felt a bit localized like for the china market this one feels a bit international okay last but not least we are now at the denza showroom another sub brand by byd which promotes premium vehicles including this alpha looking thing called the denza d9 everything here is a bit premium it's a bit like lexus the showroom the white lights and the lifestyle coffee place over there the children's playground some camping gear yeah it's really like just like what you expect from lexus but this is a byd denza form Alright, so what does that mean for this BYD Malaysia? Well, that little trip we just took in Shenzhen, courtesy of BYD, is them trying to show us that, you know, they have all the infrastructure, they are ready to move forward. And from what we gathered in that trip is that they're ready to dig deep into Malaysian soil, meaning that they want to grow the brand here beyond to what it is now. There even talks about them building a CKD plant, which is why they probably partner up with Saim Darby because Saim Darby have manufacturing plants in the country. So yes, BYD are serious about Malaysia. They've got all the tech, they're moving fast. I mean, just about a decade ago, they're just building batteries and now they're building cars, electric cars. So yes, that trip really showed us they mean business and they're here to stay and it's gonna be big.